Have you ever been working on a Minecraft command block project only to find out that you can't complete it because you don't know how to make variables? Hello everybody, I am Mozart Minecraft, and today we are going to create some variables using Minecraft command blocks. In order to make variables, you will need to use these commands and I will teach you how each of them work in this video. So the first step, as you might have guessed, is to create a variable. And the command you want to run to make a variable is slash scoreboard objectives add and then the name of the variable you would like. Let's say test variable, the criteria, and the display name. For example, test variable. And there we go. We've created a new objective, which is our variable. For the criteria part, you can just put dummy. I'll go into that more in a future video. You might also want to run this command to make your variable show up on the side of the screen. It will not show up yet because there are no values set to the variable, but once values are set, it will show up on the right side of the screen. And the second thing you will need to know how to do is set and change the variables. To do that, you will need to run scoreboard players this time, and then there are these things. For now, we're going to focus on add, remove, and set. Let's do set first. We'll use Mozart Minecraft, test variable, and we will set it to 7. And as you can see, I now have 7 for test variable. Notice that each player can have their own value for each variable. If I use this command with add instead of set, then I can add value to it. For example, if I type in 64, now I have 71 points as 7 plus 64 is 71. I can also remove points by doing this command. Let's say I want to remove 44 points. Now 71 minus 44 is 27. So now let's create an example of the variable being changed using a command block. So this command will look for players that have corn flowers in their hands, and if it finds a player with a corn flower in their hand, it will add one to the test variable of that player. Of course, you can set the variable name to anything you want, but we're using test variable for the sake of the video. And as you can see, once I collect a corn flower and put it in my hand, it disappears, and I have 28, and then 29, 30, 31, 32, and so on. And now the final thing we're going to go over in this video is how to test for the variable. So there are various ways to do this. The simplest is to do slash execute as at a if store at s test variable or whatever your variable name is matches and then the value we want it to be. For example, if I want it to be 20, I will put 20. And then I'll run the command, which should be anything I want. I'm just going to do say obsidian volcano. Now when I ran that command, nothing happened because my variable is not set to 20. But if I set this to 32, Mozart as you can see, says I will say volcano. Obsidian Volcano. Um, let me turn off narrator. the narrator, which oh. is being a sneaky creeper. And then if I were to set my test variable to 11, this command no longer works. But once I set this to 11, as you can see, I now say Obsidian Volcano. You can also set this to be in a range. For example, 11 dot dot 66 will do every number from 11 to 66. So with 11, it'll work. However, if I set it to 9, it does not work. If I set it to 16, it does work. If I set it to 64, it does work. If I set it to 66, it does work. But if I set it to 68, as you can see, I will not say Obsidian Volcano. You can also do dot dot with just a single number, for example this, and this will test for every number that is greater than or equal to 11. And if you put the number on the right side of the dots, this will test for every number that is less than or equal to 22. So now let's show an example of this in action. As you can see, this command block will test if I have six points in my test variable. And if I do, it will say I found six pumpkins. And as you can see, every time I'm holding a pumpkin, I get a point. As you can see, I have zero points. But as soon as I collect this pumpkin, I now have one, then two, and once I collect this one, three, and then four, and then five, and then six, and as you can see, I found six pumpkins. And now that you know how to create, set, and test for variables, this will be the perfect time to end this video. I'll be releasing a few more videos on the same topic that show some more advanced uses of variables in Minecraft. So go ahead and check them out. If they're already released, they will be on the screen right now. And with that, 
have an amazing day. Bye-bye. Obsidian Volcano.